Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for tonight's main event. Today, we will have Italy versus Egypt. We will have these two nations face off in the game of Crusader Kings 3. Both of them equally buff, and we shall see who will come up on top. Will it be Egypt who harness the powers of the Nile, or will it be Italy who takes the power of the powerful Europeans? Stay tuned, and we shall see who will come out victorious. If I had to have my bet on who would win between Egypt and Italy, I'd probably say Italy because Italy actually starts with some um, inheritance. They could get West Francia, East Francia, or I think uh, maybe a couple other nations in Europe. But Egypt also has a lot more room to grow. There's so many weak nations here. Well, Italy has to face off some of the most powerful nations in the game. The buffs that I gave these rulers was I made them both immortal. I gave them a ton of gold, prestige, and gold at the start, and then I also made the rulers extremely buff i made them gain all perks so pretty much that means they get everything in the trees um for a lifestyle so we will see which nation comes out on top i would have to say it is going to be interesting um i didn't want to have nations too close to each other so they don't take it out this might be a regular thing so hopefully you guys enjoy it and if you do make sure to like and subscribe there is also a slight chance that other nations could ruin this video and take out both of them. But you know, we've gotten our anger out on the Byzantines in the buff video, so we don't have to, you know, scream at them anymore. I got the boxing in and, you know, I feel much better about the Byzantines. We have Italy already at a very convincing lead. They already formed their empire. Uh, Italian is formed, which is their empire title here. Um, so Egypt needs to pick it up because they haven't done anything. So uh, please, Egypt, pick it up. I did buff you the same as Italy, and Italy literally is an empire ready. So, you know, a little worry, a little worry. Hopefully it isn't too much of a stomp. Hey, Egypt, you need to do something. What you doing? You have, it's, we've been, we've been going for like almost 40 years. And you haven't done anything. You see your counterpart, Egypt, uh, Italy? Yeah. Italy's doing a lot of stuff. All right, they kind of look like they're, they're kind of going to rule all of Europe. Egypt actually hasn't done anything. This is not good for the beginning of the series. At all. Egypt has started to do something, but you know, I thought the Abbasid would blow up by now. So they really only have two places to expand because the Abbasid is kind of hard to beat. Um, I actually don't know if the Byzantines will be a threat to Egypt. I hope not, but you know, they're expanding and they're actually going after their second nation, but Italy, yeah, they're looking really good already. So Egypt's got some work to do. Um, I don't think it's too late, but you know, they, they're really going to have a battle between these two to see who wins. Italy is kind of looking like this thick HRE and like an HRE, but even more powerful than the HRE. This is the early start day, so they kind of like looking like they formed it pretty much. I don't know if there is like a thing where they can actually form the HRE, so we could see that. I don't think so. I think it has to be someone from like Germany that does it. Um, it is possible. Possible. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. Then we have good old Kazaria saying like, hey, you know, you two empires are having a battle. Well, I want to be a part of it because Kazaria, they, they want to be a part of this battle. I don't know why or who said they could be a part of it, but they've decided that they, they want to be. So we kind of have like four empires right here. We have Italia, Byzantines, Kazaria, Abbasid, and Egypt. Like four empires right here. Like Four empires. And I have to say, it's going to be interesting to see who comes up on top. We even have kind of like Frankia here. West Frankia is looking good. Same with Sweden. Wow. We have a lot of big nations, but you know, it will fall apart, guys. The border gore is coming. Don't worry. You're, I know that you're a little mad with all these United borders. The, the, it will fall apart. This is where I think Egypt has the upper hand. As you can see, Italy kind of expanded a lot of their territory already, and now they kind of have more of these medium to large uh, nations around them, where Egypt has a ton of weak nations. They have so much room where they can easily expand, where Italy is going to have to use a decent amount of resources to actually expand. So that's why I think Egypt has a lead. They have more of a late to mid game, uh, where Italy, they really have to get as much power early game. 
I say that, and then Italy literally just eats up West Francia without a problem. So maybe uh, Italy has some more room to grow. And technically, uh, Egypt hasn't even formed an empire yet, and that's because they got Khalid slash the Abbasid in their way. Looks like Italy's having some problems. Uh, it looks like uh, Germany and East Francia got their independence. So I don't know uh, what's really going on, but this is going to allow Egypt to take a lead because Egypt hasn't lost anything. So Italy has got to get this territory back or risk losing it all. I saw this German empire and I was like, wow, uh, Italy should be worried. And then I took a look at their leader and then I was like, you know what? Maybe they don't need to worry because it doesn't look like their leader is having uh, a good day today. Looks like he isn't going to make it too much longer. If you like this channel and want to support it, you can become a member uh, down below. It's the join button. I think I have a $1.99 membership and a $4.99 membership. It's just a monthly thing that helps the channel out. If we get enough people, I could probably do this more as like a part-time to full-time thing um so i'd appreciate it uh, i don't make that much money i make like 100 to 200 dollars a month on youtube so anything would help but you don't have to this is me selling out i appreciate it even if you think about it thank you so much this possibly could turn into a europe versus africa game which would be quite interesting because egypt why do you change colors Oh, they just formed an empire okay that's why they changed their primary title and turned that into an empire so that's why I was confused. It, they're the same nation, but now they're not green. But as I was saying, Italy is doing good. They, they're they starting to stagnate. I still think that they still are strong, but Egypt's been picking it up. They're definitely getting a lot of the power down here. This is the more powerful area of Egypt down here compared to over here. So we should definitely see Egypt really start to pick it up. And hopefully Italy starts to take advantage of like these weaker nations because they're struggling. Um, they haven't expanded in almost... 30 years where Egypt has been picking up the pace a lot. It looks that Egypt has officially gotten into the lead. They have around 65,000 troops and they definitely have way more land. Italy has got like 44,000 troops, which is pretty good. Uh, they border the Byzantines though, which will give them a little bit of problems because they're not super powerful, but 22,000 troops is a lot. However, we're gonna we're getting close to having borders. We're getting close to these two nations going. Italy, I'm pretty sure, uh, got some sort of crusade or inherited a crusade, especially because he's immortal. He probably inherited it from whoever he gave the land to. So we are going to have some action soon, and it's going to be interesting to see which one of these nations um, come up on top. Italy has now made the leap into the Great British Isles, and it's going to be interesting to see if they get all this power, because, you know, England is usually powerful. It's usually they just do their own thing, so I think Italy is going to murder England now, unfortunately. I love it in EU4 with the different names, and it pretty much looks like there's four different Lithuanias. Like, it's only really three looking, but like, actually, no, there's like five looking. Lithuania, 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 and Lithuania. Looks pretty cool. It, it's pretty normal to see that with Border War, but like, you know, it just looks funny when you got like such big nations that are separate, which is technically one nation. Okay, we might uh, start to see some wars between Egypt and Italy now because they border each other. Uh, Italy took over Jerusalem, I think, in a crusade or something like that. So will these two nations uh, focus on each other or will they keep on expanding and have it as an afterthought. Who knows? I don't. So far, neither of these big empires, uh, Egypt or Italy, have attacked the Byzantines. The Byzantines just kind of are in their own little area. They're definitely pinched between these. So there's a little chance the Byzantines to do well. So it would be kind of interesting to see the Byzantines become the third player in this uh, battle between the two. But I'm not sure because they really don't got that much room to expand. Introducing a new contestant, the Mongol Empire! Woo! The Mongols are here. Will they make a difference? I think it's actually possible that the Mongols could ruin the Byzantines, at least. So, the Mongols, I'm actually excited to see them for once. The first actual battle between Egypt and Italy has happened. The battle has begun! And it's not going good for Italy. Uh, Egypt is winning currently. Um, I think it's going to be rough because Italy was attacking the Byzantines. So right now, Italy is at war with the Byzantines and Egypt. And I think Egypt is slightly more powerful. So I think Italy is going to lose some land. And they're going for a decent chunk. So this might be the end of Italy or it might just be a setback. And they still have to be careful of the Mongols. The Mongols could get involved in too. This is a pretty interesting scenario, to be honest. They have been at war for 15 years, Italy and Egypt. And this is for like a very small amount of land. So hopefully they can resolve this so they can 
keep going at each other's throat because right now we're gonna have to end this video at the 1600s to determine who uh, wins. The Mongols will one day have an impact on the game, but not anytime soon. Okay, shit just got real. Uh, Egypt is in Europe. So they have pretty much uh, Gibraltar and a little bit more land. And I have to say, I think Italy is going to lose this. I don't know if Egypt really go after them, but Egypt will definitely get more power. They pretty much have all of Africa and now they're moving into Middle East. While Italy hasn't even got all of Europe yet. And I'm pretty sure the main reason is because it's taking a lot of resources to slowly kill the Byzantines. And you know, that is what the struggle of the Byzantines are. Super powerful nation and even buff nations have a little bit of a struggle with them. Late game Egypt is really pulling ahead. Egypt is going into Asia, like all parts of Asia. Well, Italy's really just here in Europe and they still haven't even got Europe. I know Egypt hasn't got all of Africa, but like Egypt is going insane. And I think they might get close to a world domination and have Italy as their tiny little pet. We have a clear victory in our first match and it would have to go to Egypt. Egypt looks amazing. They probably actually have close to half the world where Italy only has pretty much Europe and they, they haven't even gotten all of Europe. They got a little land past Europe, but really kind of disappointing. Egypt has around 270,000 and Italy has 180,000. It, it, it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. But if you guys like this idea of CK3 face-offs, we can do more videos like this. And if anything, we could have like a tournament to see what's the best kingdom in CK3, which I think would be kind of cool and fun. Um, if you would be interested in that, let me know down in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe. Also, this is them with the changed empire maps. They've spread their empires a lot.